Wahoo fans, welcome to the Orange and Blue Report presented by the UVA Health System. I'm Emily Karen, and here with me today in the studio is senior wide receiver Andre Lavoni. Thanks for being with us today, Andre. Glad I could be here, Emily. So you're going into your final season here at UVA. Has it hit you yet that you're a fourth year? Um, it definitely has hit me. This has been a long ride and it's been a fun journey. Um, one more go around with my teammates, with my brothers, and a lot of guys that are still here that I came in with, so I'm excited to just get the season underway. Do you remember first stepping on grounds? I do. Um, it seems like it was just yesterday, actually. Um, four years flies by so fast. Just staying in the freshman dorms and being in the freshman village with everybody, and uh, there's a lot of memories there, definitely. Looking back, you know, is there anyone that you've modeled kind of your style of play after over the last few years, whether that's NFL, anybody here? Oh man, uh, I've spent a lot of time with Coach Higgins, uh, and he's shown me a lot of guys with similar body types, similar athleticism that he likes for me to look at, uh, bigger receivers such as uh, Julio Jones for the Falcons, Demarius Thomas for the Broncos. Um, I'm currently watching a lot of uh, Michael Thomas, a guy who plays for the Saints. So I like to just take uh, pieces from other guys' games implement it into my own and when I'm on the field I just make it my own style. You mentioned your body type and you're probably the most physically imposing wide receiver that we've seen since probably Kane and Severin. How has that played into your last few seasons here at UVA? Um, being a bigger receiver there's a different expectation of how you play. Um, a lot of guys expect physicality from you so as I've just gotten stronger, um, bigger and faster in the weight room and just maturing I've definitely grown into that physical mold. Um, in my younger years, I might not have been quite as physical of a presence on the field, but just attacking. Attack is a word that we use a lot in the receiver room. Coach Higgins talks to us a lot about attack a defender, step on his toes when you're running around, attack the ball when it's in the air, it's yours. The only time he allows us to be arrogant is with our hands. So that's something that you guys have really worked on crafting for you. Absolutely. And going into this weekend, specifically against William & Mary, what kind of expectations do you have? Um, from an offensive standpoint, we are very excited. This is an opportunity for us to show what we've worked on all offseason. Um, I've said many times that this is the first offseason we've had with Kurt for the entirety of the offseason. Um, he's been here through the winter, through spring ball, through the summer training camp. So there's been a lot of time in the meeting rooms spent uh, getting on the same page mentally. There's been a lot of time spent on the field putting in extra hours just running routes with him. So I feel like our chemistry as a whole receivers and quarterbacks has taken um, a lot of steps in the right direction. So on Saturday, we're just excited to put the product on the field for the public to see. Well, you guys can catch Andre and the rest of the Who's on Saturday at Scott Stadium at 3.30 as they take on William & Mary. Thanks for joining us today.